Joining me here at uh, Leamington, Hereford manager Josh Cowling. Uh, really hard work out there this afternoon just to get a point. Yeah, I mean, teams that come here would probably come under that pressure. You know, they they they're very good at what they do. You know, they turn balls in, they look for second balls. You know, it's a difficult surface plan as well. It's very probably I don't know if you can see it, but when you're on it, it's a real difficult surface. And obviously, playing two games in 48 hours also doesn't help. So, but no, I thought the lads were excellent. They they stood up to the challenge. I'd like us to have played a little bit more, but again, the surface is very difficult with it. And I think the the, the periods in the game when we did play, I think we cut them open, didn't we? When we created opportunities. So, but no, I'm you know away from home. To, to get a clean sheet, um, I'm, I'm happy with. Obviously, we're disappointed in there that we haven't won, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a good point. And you have to give credit to, to your back four, a rejig back four to boot. Yeah, Lukey's come in there, dropped in there. I thought he was excellent. Obviously, Lloydie's not an actual left back, um, but you know, I think the good thing is that they're, they're listening to what we're doing in training, and, and all the lads know each position, which is good, so they can just slot into areas, and it's you know not too much of a change. So no, it was, it was really pleasing. And uh, George Forsyth gave him his first start. How, how did you see uh, he, he played today? Yeah, I thought he, he just um, gave it that bit of steel in midfield. I think that's what we wanted, really. Uh, coming to coming to a place like this where we knew how the game was going to be. You know, we rejigged it around. We took Mac out and put George in there just for a bit of steel. And obviously put Giles in there as well for a bit of physicality. So, and I think he did really well. Obviously, he hasn't played much football. So, towards the end, we had to bring him off. And when the game was open, we thought we'd just drop Giles and then put Mac in the hole so we could get on the ball a little bit more. Four points from the, from the last two games. You, you probably have taken that before Christmas. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, obviously not today, but we, I think we've been playing, you know, pretty much the same um, brand of football. It's just obviously we haven't had, I guess, the rub of the green. So we've been playing well, but it's nice to start, you know, the, the work we've been putting in. It's, it's nice to see it's coming to fruition now and we're, and we're picking up points, which is really pleasing. How big a factor is the fact that you brought players in with that versatility? Because it showed out there today that you needed it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I spoke about the budget all the time, haven't I, all the way through pre-season and, and the start of the season, and we knew it was going to be a tight budget, we knew it was going to be a small squad, so, you know, the players we brought in, we can't really bring specialists in, you know, we need to bring in players that can fill in multiple positions, which is great, we've got someone like Luke, who can fill in at right back, centre-half, midfield, um, Lloyd the same, and, you know, so we've got good versatility in the squad, even though it's a small squad, and, you know, the lads, I'm really pleased that the lads have, you know, dug in and listened to what we, we've asked of them, and they're, and they're putting a performance today. I don't think Brandon Hall was troubled much uh, this afternoon, so you know the, the, the defence actually did their job perfectly, didn't they? Yeah, uh, you know you look at them and they're, and they're quite direct, so we tried to kind of cut that off at source and not let them put quality balls forward. And I think we did that for you know large periods of the game. Um, but you know our back. I back my back four when the ball goes in the box for you know people like Grimes to go and win win those balls and our midfielders pick up those little second balls and I think we did that to a man really well today. Supporters at home a little bit worried. What what is the position with Linnell John Lewis and uh, Jan Klukowski today? Yeah, um, we took Lenny off towards the end of the game because of his hamstring. Um, yeah, so he's obviously not here today. Um, so we'll kind of have to assess that. You know he's struggling, so we're probably going to be missing him for you know a couple of weeks possibly. Um, and Jan, he hasn't played a lot of football, so um, we kind of rested Jan today, just ready for obviously Saturday uh, to, to, to get him back in. So hopefully Jan will be ready for Saturday. Because obviously with a small squad, uh, when you lose a few of your key players, can make a difference, can't it? Oh yeah, 100%. Look, when you have kind of big hitters, I'd suppose, in, in your squad, especially at this level, when they don't play, you miss them. You know, obviously they, they had Lance today, and obviously Lance didn't play, and, and you know you can see they missed him as well. So. That's just the level we're at. It's where we are. So when you've got all the bigger players in the squad and they're not there, they they have a massive impact. Second of January, return fixture with Kidderminster. Hopefully, a uh, tag brother that goes ahead. Yep. Uh, another one for you to in your squad to look forward to now. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, obviously we've got the win at our place, and you know we, we want to go there and do back to back. So you know the lads have got to get rested up now. It's frustrating that the game wasn't tomorrow. I don't really see why the game wasn't tomorrow. Really, I understand a commercial point of view having the game. Saturday, Monday, but with no fans, I don't really see the point why we can play the game on Tuesday tomorrow night to give the lads an extra rest. Um, it's a lot for the lads to play two games in 48 hours. So, but no, the lads will have to rest up. We'll just do probably a bit of a restorative session on Thursday and then get ready for the for the game on Saturday. Finally, any knocks today? No, lads are alright. Just tiredness, to be honest. Um, George blew up a little bit towards the end, and you know, so we made obviously brought Terry off and, and and put Dylan on at the end as well. So now it's just more tiredness than anything. You know, it's been, it's been a 
tough Christmas period so far. So, you know, lads just need to get rested up. So the main positive today, clean sheets and, uh, you know, good team spirit out there. Yeah, you know, I looked at the kiddie game and, you know, they play football, you know, and, and I think they've looked at us and thought, you know, we're going to try and beat them up a bit. Um, and we stood up to that and then we come to a, a team like this as well. We're not just a pretty football inside, we can mix it with other teams as well. And I'd like to think we mixed it today. You know, we turned balls in behind, we got off second balls and to be honest, I thought we, we ended the fitter team, which is really pleasing as well. Thanks very much for your time. No problem, thank you.